through. Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to P at Home brought to you by LSC. My name's Jake, and this is lesson three for Key Stage 1 on Fundamental Movements. Today, we're going to explore how to solve problems when sending a ball in different interfered environments. We're going to look at the correct technique to use to be able to roll over short and medium distances. And we're also going to look to develop our resilience behaviours. The equipment you're going to need for this lesson is you're going to need a soft object that you're able to topple over. You're going to need a partner to work with, and you're also going to need some form of scoring system. I hope you enjoy it and have lots of fun. Let's get out there and enjoy it. Good morning, Adam. Good morning. Um, right, we're, we're, we're back into our lesson around fundamental movements, okay? And we're going to build on some of the learning that we've done in the previous two sessions, yeah? yeah? So, this is our little corridor that I want you to move through. I want you to come up with as many different ways that you can move that you've learnt so far. Use the previous two lessons yeah. learning, okay? And also, can you come up with as many different directions you can to get across this corridor as well? When you get to the end of the corridor, you're just going to come down the side of the yellow cones and back in here again to okay. start. Does that make sense? Yeah. Ready? Off you go. So as many different movements as you can like that. Fantastic. So a bit of hopping to start with. Superb. Great start, Adam. That's it. So come in as many different ways as possible. Superb. That's it. And again, for me, many different ways. Fantastic. I like that little drop of the shoulder to get yourself out. Superb. I think how we can dodge and evade past people. Superb, fantastic. Keep going. Keep going for me. As many in as you can. That's it. Right, boys and girls at home, so we're just thinking about the previous two lessons learning. Can you implement all those different movements that you've used so far? Give it a go for a couple of minutes. Get that heart rate going. And when you're ready, come back to us. Fantastic, Adam. Great start we've made so far. So we're really linking those movements together. So what I want you to come up with now is come up with a combination of three to get yourself across the area, yeah? So I want you to link three movements that we've learned so far, building on, again, from the last two lessons, and link them together to get yourself out the corridor. Does that make sense? Yeah, and still yeah? move direction. If you still change direction, yeah, but I want you to link three different movements in a combination to get yourself out the corridor, yeah? Off you go. Off you go. Like it? So you've got a, a hop, a jump to plant with two feet and a little drop of the shoulder to get out. Don't mind that. Good. Can you build on that? Superb. Like it. Okay. So you've gone drop of the shoulder, a hop and another drop of the shoulder to get out. Can you come up with a different combination every time you come through? Keep going. That's it. Superb. And get yourself through. Fantastic, Adam. Superb. And again. Fantastic. One more time for me, Adam. One more time. That's it. Well done. Okay, children. So now what, what we're trying to do is try and link some of the movements together that we've learned in the previous two sessions. Think about different events that you might see on the telly. It could be the triple jump, uh, for example. Think about different uh, movements that are linked together in maybe a combination of three and see what you can come up with. Adam, great start to our lesson. So I want us to build on some of that combination building, yeah? So we're going to play a bit of a game just to get us going. It's first to five wins, okay? Yeah? So in here, we've, we've made a bit of a course. Can you see using the tall red markers? Yeah. What sort of um, letter can you see on the floor? An S. An S. So it's in a bit of an S bend, yeah? Now, we've got to link three movements together. You've got to try and get to my cone here, and I've got to try and get to yours there. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? Uh, when we meet in the middle, we're going to have a game of rock, paper, scissors. If you win, you continue down the course. If you lose, you go back to the start and start again. Yeah? When you arrive at the end, you score yourself a point. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Now, the only condition is that when you're moving, we're going to move in a combination of three. Yeah? Can you think of um, an athletics game, or event, should I say, that includes a combination of three? A combination of three. Um, the, the one with the sand, where you go to your run, might do that. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. What's that called? Um, 
don't know, sir. You don't, you don't know, sir. That's absolutely fine, Adam. Not a problem. Triple jump. We we'll use the triple jump. Yeah. Combination of three it's tricks in the name, Adam. You see that? That's where it comes from. So, all we're going to do, we're going to go hop, skip, jump. That's how you're moving down the course. Okay. Hop, skip, jump. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when I'm hopping, I'm hopping off one and then skipping and landing on two and then I'm jumping and landing on two. Yeah? Yep. But it's one, two, two when you're planting down. Can you just show me to make sure you understand, Adam? So hop, skip and a jump. Hop, skip, jump. Hop. Not bad. Fantastic. Yeah? And off you go. Back you go. It's okay. Ready then? Yeah. Three, two, one, play. Yeah. Back. Carry on down the court. Oh, off you go. Ah. Back you go. Ah. Back you go. Back you go. Oh, it's competitive. We're getting there. Come on. Ah. Oh, yeah. no. No, no, no. Keep going. Here you go. Ah! Keep messing up right at the last moment, both of us. Oh, here you go. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yeah. One point, one nil. And we're going again. We're going again. Oh, you cheat, you didn't wait for me. Oh, the arm! <laughs> it's supposed to do it at the same time, Adam. You cheat. I'm going to skip out of the course, sir. Ah! Oh, back to go. Come on, I'm scoring yourself a point. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Ah! Oh. We're going to play first to two, Adam. We're both good at the game. Oh my, you're joking! Yeah! yeah. Here you go. 1-1. One, one. One, one. Keep practising, Adam. So, boys, he goes at home. He can play to as many two, three, four or five games worth. It's completely up to you. When you're ready, come back to us for the second part. OK, Adam, welcome back for the... Uh, the main part of our session now. So, first of all, we just warmed up. What, what's the purpose for warming up? Why do we do that? Um, gets our heart beating. Yeah. Blood going around our body. Fantastic. So you need to get all nice that. Warm. Say again, it sorry. Gets us nice and warm. Yeah, super. So it gets us nice and warm and it gets that blood pumping around our body. And Adam, because I know it, it's super, super good knowledge, this. So, um, the reason why we get that blood pumping around our body is because that blood visits our lungs. It gets loads and loads of oxygen, which then gets pumped round to all of our muscles, and that helps our muscles breathe. So that's one of the reasons why uh, why we warm up. So really good, well, well done, great answers. So um, we're going to build on some of the um, sending and throwing, uh, sorry, the sending and catching skills that we that we've learned over the last couple of sessions. So just to highlight what we've done so far, what what have we, what have we learned in the previous two lessons? So it's a bit did. of time ago now, so. I'll, so we did. Underarm throwing, yeah, and then we did some overarm throwing, so it got there quicker. Fantastic! So we've done some underarm throwing, some overarm throwing, and what about collecting? What, what have you, um, or, so or catching? At, what have you looked at there? There was, there was lots of talking, so lots yeah. of communication. And Fantastic! We had to get our hands ready, and we had to get in that set position. Super! So loads and loads of good information there. I want you to use that in this lesson. That's really important. Okay, so um, this game is called Watch. The laser sensors okay so as you can see you've broke into the bank on that side and you are just about to um, send over all of that money that's in in there with, with you the difficulty is adam you've only got one minute inside um th that that area there that makes sense yeah before you have to evacuate and the police arrive okay the sensors are on the floor 
but they're also above cone height okay so you can't you can't throw them over into my hair either i need you to come up with a way of how you can transfer those tennis balls or the money across into me in this side does that make sense so far yeah yeah so when you're ready we're gonna have a go if one of them hits the lasers don't worry because we've still got time to evacuate because we need to get the rest of the money first so if we hit one we've lost it yeah does that make sense yeah. so we want to see how much we can retain and keep does that make sense yeah, yeah? so when you're ready three two one play And relax there. Sorry, Adam, I should have explained that better. Don't worry, go back. Go back for me. Superb. So, I forgot to mention that you can't come out of that area either. Nope. So that's my fault. So I'll send this one back to you. Just in there, fantastic. Um, so I want you to have a bit of a think. Don't worry, I'll give you 10 seconds to have a bit of a think, yeah? Have a bit of a think, see what you can come up with. And then once you think you've come up with a plan, talk to me. Yeah. So I can't throw them over. You can't throw them over. And I can't come out of this. You can't come out of there, that's right, yeah. Are you allowed out? No, no, I, I can't go onto the censored floor either. It's quite tricky, isn't it? it is quite tricky. challenging, yeah. So what, what have we learnt so far? What type of throws have we learnt so far? Could we use that one in this game? Um, no. No, I think you're right. I think it'd be too too high, wouldn't it? Yeah. What else have we learned? Underarm. Underarm. What about that? Is it too high still? Um, too low? Possibly too high. Possibly Maybe. too high still. So we need to come up with a different way you can send that ball across. So I want you to have a think for, for a minute or two. Okay. Yeah? Think for a minute or two. So, boys and girls at home, have a little bit of a think at home. Can you come up with a way how you can dodge the sensors? Whenever you're ready, come back to us. Right, Adam, superb stuff. So you had a bit of a think. What, what have you come up with then? So I'm going to try and roll it. You're going to try and roll it? Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. I think that might work, Adam. What have you got to be wary of though? What have you got to think about as it's going uh, through? The sensors to try not to hit them. Yeah. Fantastic. So you've got, to, you've got to come up with a way that you can roll these through. Okay. How high are the sensors, by the way? Cone high. Right, so just think about that as well. Yeah? That, that's important of us. Think about that. Yeah? When you're ready, okay, I'm going to put a minute on the clock. And we're going to go, remember, if it hits one of the sensors, don't worry about it. It just means we've got to be very quick because I ain't getting arrested. Uh, I'm not too bothered if you do, to be honest with you. We ready? Three, two, one, play! One, two, oh, I love it. Three, four, five, six. Fantastic, Adam. Seven, eight, all that one gone. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, that one's gone. Fifteen. You've sounded the alarms, Ads. Going on. Twenty, twenty-one. Oh, Ads. Okay, relax there. Tell you, you were quick. You were very quick. You were very quick. So, Adam, in, in there then. If you look how many have actually gone inside here. If you come up, come and join me over here. So we've got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven, fantastic. So each one's worth ten, Adam. So what have you been learning in maths? Because I know you're in year two uh, at school. So learning in maths, what's seven lots of ten, Adam? Ooh, 70. 70, fantastic, good maths. Really, really good, fantastic. So, um, you did that, Adam, in about 25, 26 seconds. So you're very quick. Um, so with that time, now, what, 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 what happened with, with a few of them? I think next time, because I've got, I only did it in 25 seconds, yeah. I've got so much more time, I should take my time in rolling them. Fantastic. Think about, well, the accuracy trying to get it, get it the get accuracy it through, yes. that's a, that's a good word um, what do you mean so, by your accuracy um so have a bit more of a think with the time that i've got yeah take my time and just try and sort of avoid all the sensors on the floor fantastic so what i want you to do is have a quick think for for a minute or two what what 
In fact, when you're ready, just go and collect um, the tennis balls and could you leave them inside that section there? Yep. And we're going to do the same, but you've got to send them here. But whilst you're doing it, I want you to come up with a way that will help you improve your accuracy. Yeah? Okay. Have a think. So boys and girls at home, once you've had a go, you can keep, have as many goals as you like. But something I really want you to think about is how you can be accurate and miss the lasers so that they get and transfer to the other side. Let's see what you can come up with. When you think you've got an answer, come back to us and join us. Brilliant, so you've had a go, you've had a bit of a think. So what have you come up with? How can you help send them across in a more accurate manner? I, um, I did it a bit too hard when I was too hard. Last time, so yeah. I might do it a, a bit lighter. Yeah. Try and focus a bit more as well. As yeah. I was using my time, like I said before. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, what path can you see there stood up? So I can see a nice clear path in front of me. You can see a me. clear path in front Quick question to you, would you be able to find a clearer path and maybe if you weren't stood up? Um, yeah. Have a, have a go, have a go. Yeah. Yeah. So can you see a bit more of a corridor, a bit more of a gap? Yeah, I've got a better yeah? angle. Fantastic, yeah. So, something I want you to think about is using that path now that you've seen, uh, knelt down, yeah, and try and roll it through there. What might you do with your other hand to help you get through aim aim what can you show me what that looks like Adam if I go and stand on the other side what do you mean by aim possibly fantastic yeah and it's really important that here I need to make sure this gets collected in here don't I so how how are you going to help me collect the ball what do I need to think about here um, where the I can't ready, really say so you can get ready Okay, yeah, so to, to get myself ready. How do I collect the ball? Um, scoop it up with your hands. Scoop it up with my hands, yeah. Absolutely, what does that look like? Show me, put the ball down, show me. Right, where are your fingertips, Adam? Together. Together and where are they pointing? Towards the floor. Towards the floor, fantastic, yeah. So I need to have fingertips wide span with my fingertips. That's really important. That increases the area uh, for me to pick the ball up. Yeah, and I need to have them together. I don't want any gaps, okay? And actually, if I'm being really clever, if I think about cricket, I get my leg down in here to stop the ball going through. If it comes back and I miss it, I can collect it as well, yeah? When you're ready, we're going to play. One minute, three, two, one, play. Nice and accurate for me, Adam. Superb, great start. Love that. Three, four, five. Oh, that one doesn't count. Six, seven, love that. Ten, remember, you've got all the time in the world, Adam. Let's be, be focused. Oh, a bit, bit wobbly that one, bit wonky. Good, good pace. I like that. Really good. Fantastic. Good, fantastic. Oh, poor one. You're going to get me arrested. Well, that one's, leave that one there. What did you notice as you rolled it through, Adam? Um, what, about the pace of the ball. What did you notice? It was a bit slower. Right, so if it was slower, what happened to the ball? Um, sort of wiggled. Yeah, it sort of veered off, didn't it? It wiggled around a lot. So what do you need to think about with your pace? Uh, maybe a bit harder. A bit harder. Straight. And if we want it the same thing all the time, what do we call that? Begin with C. Consistency. Consistency. Fantastic. Great word. It needs to be consistent in what we're doing. Yeah, I want it all the time to go in. So come and get yourself set and back to this game and have another go. Okay, boys and girls at home, if you noticed what the weird, strange voice was, it was me watch, it was Siri letting me know what was going on, so apologies for that. But I want you to have a go um, at trying to be really accurate and getting that ball through. Think about getting down on a more of a level, that's going to help you see a, a more direct path. And can you really think about the pace of the ball that, that, that you roll it through with? Person collecting, think about having your, your, your fingers spread out, pointed down to the floor so you can collect the ball. You can have as many goals of this game as you like, but whenever you're ready, come and join us for the final part of our session. Fantastic, Adam. So you, we're going to learn all those skills that we've learned about that, that rolling. Now to really think about how we can um, score some points. This is our last game 
of, of this lesson. So this game's called Tower Topple. Okay, so in front of you, you've got four towers that are built strong. Okay, the idea is you've got to knock down each segment of that tower. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? So how, how many segments does each tower have, Adam? Three. Three. So there's three there. Yeah, in, in each segment, and there's four of them. So what? how many segments is that that you need to knock down? Twelve. Twelve. Fantastic. Great multiplication. Again, I love that. You're doing lots of stuff in your maths, which is fantastic. So, how many opportunities have you got to knock each tower segment down? Twelve. Twelve. So how many can you miss, Adam? None. None. You can't miss any. Okay, so we've got to really think about that as we go through. Now... I want you to still be really confident. Don't worry if you miss an opportunity because I want you to try and beat your best score. So you're going to get three opportunities to play this game. Okay? So you roll it in. See how many you can knock down. If you knock down six, for example, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll rebuild the towers and we'll go again. Yeah? And I want you to keep reflecting and keep having to think about what you could do better next time. Yeah? And I want to see what you can come up with. I want two things that you do really well. I want one thing that you think, oh, I could do that a little bit better. Does that make sense, Adam? Yeah. Yeah? Fantastic. So when you're ready, three, two, one, play. You've got all the time in the world. Oh, two down in one. What a start. Oh, another two. Oh, not quite. Have a think. Oh, it's not quite gone down, but you nudged it towards it. Yes, another one down. Fantastic. Yes, another down. You've got four left, Adam. Oh, it's not quite. Oh, what a shot. Really accurate. Fantastic. Oh, not quite. One more, one more left. I tell you what, Adam, what a fantastic start. You've got one, two, three, four still stood up. So how many have you hit? Eight. Eight. Fantastic. So build your towers up. Take them back into the start there. And I want you to have a little bit of a think about what you could do better next time. Yeah? Remember, two things that you did well and one thing that you think you can improve on, okay? So, boys and girls, again, you can have as many goals of this game as you like, yeah? Really, really important that you really start to think about what you've done well, because that's really important, and really shout about what you've done well. And I also want you to think about how you can improve your game as well with one little thing that you can come up with. When you're ready, join us for the recap of today's session, and I hope you had lots of fun. Welcome back to the recap for today's lesson for Key Stage 1 on Fundamental Movements. In this lesson, we, you should have been able to explore different ways to send the ball across different uh, interfering environments. You should have been able to come up with an effective way to get a ball across medium and short distances whilst low. And you'll have also been able to develop your resilient behaviours. Please place any comments below this video and please send your efforts any videos, any, any attempts of doing our lessons on our social media platforms, please. I hope you've had lots of fun. Take care.